hi guys welcome back again to another cooking tutorial in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make bantu untu the guinean way the chicken way and the ground beef way i saw somebody post this on my snapchat and i was like oh my god i look good and i craved it straight up and i told the person look you gotta show me how to make it and they sent me a video i have to follow somebody's recipe online so don't blame me okay <laughs> but I, while I was doing that, I was like, why shouldn't I just do a video, you know, and show my own salon people, you know, the ones that will know how to make it. So this thing, this food was good. It's the same way how we make our own untu. It's just kind of a little bit different, you know. We this The sauce in there is tamarind sauce, which we call tombi, tombi sauce. So stay tuned. So watch this video you will not regret it you can make it the chicken way you can make it the ground beef way i prefer mostly the ground beef because i always make chicken untu so the ground beef was good with some cassava on the side this was really really good when i say it was really really good my kids love it i love it it was super <laughs> first thing i'm going to show you guys is the ingredients this was my chicken breast and i have one chicken breast and one chicken thighs that I had in my freezer. So I was like, let me just get it out. And that was my tombi. And I have to put that in the hot water so it can be, you know, it can easily for me to mash it up. And I got my um, ginger and garlic and onions and peanut butter and cornmeal, my seasonings. Like I said, it's just like how we make our own untu just a little bit different on how they make theirs so and i have my jumbo of course this is my own way so don't blame me i have to always put jumbo in my food because it always tastes better i got some two tomatoes because since i'm making two types of um stuff i'm making the ground beef and the chicken way so i need two tomatoes this is my ground beef i'm not using all that ground beef because why not and the peanut butter i use one cup of peanut butter by the way so i didn't use both i didn't use both i thought i was going to use both but now so first we're going to do is get your parsley call it parsley onions and ginger and i don't have no spring onions so i have the bell pepper so i was like no let me just you know mix it up just use bell pepper instead of the spring onion because the video that i see it has spring onion a lot of videos actually so i put everything together the blend i mean the ginger the onions the pepper the person video that i watched they didn't put pepper on blending this so i was like i want my spices so i gotta put pepper this is my own way so please don't come for me under the comments blend it up the parsley pepper onions and ginger i mean garlic blend it up the ginger was not in there so the ginger gonna grate sorry and put it in a separate pan or bowl because we're going to need this we're going to use some of this to make this the, the um the the tamarind sauce we're going to use some of it to you're just going to see first we're going to do is cut your chickens into cubes cut them up into cubes like what i'm doing here right now cut them into cubes just like how i'm doing here and the next thing we will do is blend it up we're just gonna blend the chicken by itself and that's why i said it's just like the ceiling way just that we will just put everything in the blender and just blend everything <laughs> but this one is separate separate which kind of took a long i'm not gonna lie to you it was kind of like a long process for me i was like what i was like it's the same way we do ours the only difference is um the ground beef i mean the the parsley so yeah i'm like what the hell next we're going to do is ginger grate the ginger separately you can use one um, branch of ginger just like what I'm doing because, again, like we don't have that much chicken, so we don't need that much, a whole lot of ginger. So, you just grate it like that. After blending the chicken, put in a separate bowl, put your salt in and put your ginger your grater ginger inside and mix the bad boys up this thing was really good i'm not gonna lie to you guys again like it tastes just like uh on unsu but it, with the uh, um tombi sauce it was so good next we're going to dispatch up our cornmeal again you guys if you see my last video you know i hate doing this part so i was like okay somebody else cooking video you know let me just do what the exactly doing so i can see how it comes out 
battery up for like 10 to 15 minutes my arm was tired as hell <laughs> this is what i don't do because it just add more works on my phone to be honest more work but hey gotta do what i gotta do right as long as i want it to come out nice now we're going to be putting all our seasoning inside you can put any seasoning of your choice i'm putting my own favorite seasonings inside garlic pepper the other video i saw they had um, black pepper in there i'm like okay i'm not white but i'm not using that so i'm gonna just use my own african seasoning put your blend um parsley pepper ginger i mean garlic in there mix it up it's how they're doing it differently like and next we're going to do is put our peanut butter don't put so much now small mix it up mix it mix it mix it everybody liked it when i made it everybody liked it and i loved it i was like oh my god and people was asking me do you sell it are you selling it i'm like no this was for me i was craving i was like as, as soon as i saw it, somebody posted i was like oh my god i'm craving that i don't know why but i was craving it right there so i was like let me make it next we're going to just put our patched um cornmeal inside you're gonna put as much as needed like you as long as it's not sticking no more then you're good you don't need to put too much but see as you guys can see it's still sticking sticking as uh, on the bowl and my arm so i'm um, i add a little bit more on it again if you watch my last video i don't like to put a lot of cornmeal in onto a chicken ball because you don't want the chicken ball or onto to taste just that cornmeal yeah i don't like that that's why my own to be selling because people taste the chicken more than the cornmeal inside so but if you go to other people oh my god you would taste more cornmeal than ch chicken they being stingy on the chicken so now as you guys can see that was enough of um cornmeal i had to put in there put as much as you want that's your own food not mine it's going to be your recipe not my recipe and the next we're going to do is just boil it up and put it in a bowl in a separate pan put it in a separate pan and then after this we're going to do the ground beef one i had to do two different types because like if i don't like the chicken one i can eat the the, the ground beef one. if i don't like the ground beef i can eat the chicken one but, but both of them came out really nice again i always make uh, um chicken unsu so i was tired of eating chicken unsu so the, the ground beef one tastes way better for me that time again we're going to do the same thing we're going to do the same thing greater the ginger and for this one since the ground beef we're not blending it we're going to greater the garlic too mm -hmm. i didn't see somebody do the ground beef one this one was just my idea you know i didn't see nobody do the ground beef one so all this was my idea like since i'm not blending the ground beef why can i just grate the gin i mean the garlic because the ginger i already know i was gonna grate it so you know grating food it like it be scaring me because slight mistake your hands your your skin will be in that greater thing so i had to some part i had to cut the video and be like uh-uh i'm going to do off camera because if not my, all my finger will come out all my finger will come out so you do like i'm doing here if you want to do the ground beef one just watch till the ground beef parts you do it if you want to do the chicken one if you want to do both you can follow the whole video recipe but this was really really good i'm not going to lie to you guys it was really good since you guys keep asking me can you start making different types of um african food you know besides cereal you know that okay but i was like bet so i saw this i was like that's that was m the most thing that gave me the um and i just like okay since people want me to kind of like do different types of video food i mean african food let me just do this and record it you know maybe we'll bring more subscribers in my team now again same like what we do for the chicken put all your seasoning in everything inside Put your garlic, your ginger, your greater ginger, jumbo, smash it. The jumbo was so hard for me to watch. I didn't even put everything. I was like, fuck that. I'm going to take the guest and take it out. Yeah, I was like, hell no. As long as I put enough seasoning, it was fine. And next thing, mix, 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 mix. Mix it up. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so right now. 
make sure you turn the uh, notification bell on so that time whenever i post you will be notified we all we get into 11k now this year 2024 i want to be at least almost to 20k subs please and i know without you guys help i will not be able to get there that would be my goal for 20k subs put your peanut butter put your blend parsley um garlic flavor all that stuff in there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. see it's sticking on my my, my glove but again, don't worry, we're going to put our patch um, cornmeal inside. That was enough. So, see, it's already leaving my glove. Leave my glove alone. <laughs> but you just keep mixing like that. I add more. The way I thought that this was going to come out spicy, really spicy, it didn't come out like the way I wanted it to be. Like, really, really spicy, but it was still good though. It was still spicy, but I wanted it really spicy too. But when you suicide, you do, <sighs> but it didn't come out that way because I don't know. I was so scared to put more pepper. Well, that's how you make the gum be fun. Now we're going to do, all we're going to do is ball it up, ball it up, ball it up, ball it up. It looks so good. Mm hmm, mm hmm, ball it up, ball it up. I said when I made this, everybody was like, are you selling? Even one of my customers was like, can I come get some? I was like, it's done. And by that time, it was done. <laughs> I was like, it's done. I don't know what she's talking about, but girl, I have almost six people at my house. You think they will be waiting to save food for some other people? No. Just ball it up like that and put it in the same bowl, but the other parts of the bowl, the pan, actually, the, 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 the foil pan chicken and ground beef see the chicken on the left the ground beef on the right see how good it look guys ah uh, but this this one take a lot of work i'm not gonna lie to you so close i'm just gonna blend everything up like just what like what i do next we're going to do is peel our cassava our cassava was just like a bonus you know a bonus yeah Oh, bonus, oh, bonus. Dun, 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 dun. Peel it up. It, it, it scares me peeling cassava like this so, sometimes. That's why at the end you will just see me peeling like I'm peeling orange. <laughs> I was like, anybody got time for that? Anybody got time for that? Anybody got time for that? Again, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so right now. Make sure you turn the bell notification on. For every time I post, you will be notified. Now we're going to chop chop up like you know into pieces not too much small small but like four we're turning that into four yeah why not because you know i have people in my house the cassava went flying as soon as i was done making it it was gone like that but it was good though i didn't put i didn't make a lot because again i don't want to make a lot but it was done like that like that It was really good. The next thing we're going to do is dice up our tomato. Dice it up. 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 This year, next year, I want to be uploading. I don't. I don't want to be putting time and dates when I upload. I just want to be uploading. As soon as I make a video, I upload. As soon as I make a video, I upload right there. I don't want to put no time because I don't. You know. Because I feel like that's that's what be making me push back because sometimes when I put a date and a time, you know, it just makes me lazy. But the next thing is put your cassava, your diced tomato, and some of the blend parsley, garlic, and onions in uh, pots and put your seasonings, any type of seasoning you like, any type of seasoning that's your favorite. I'm putting my favorite seasonings and you add some water like water it can be one cup two cup any one if you want your soup your sauce to be a lot you, you can add as much as water you need and add like one cup actually almost two cup water in there and then leave it to boil yeah like what i'm doing this was kind of like pepper soup <laughs> although it was like like really really pepper soup but like it's like it and you just leave it to boil. I had to add two pepper. See, guys, 
But now everything is boiled, my cassava is boiled, take it out, put it aside. Because we're not going to do nothing again with the cassava, we're just going to eat it like that. Yeah. Just going to eat it like that. You see that zombie that I put aside earlier? See? When I use the hot water, it kind of like easy now for me to mash it up. Because that um, seeds, we don't need that seeds in there. We're going to wash all that seed out. You know, clear it up. Mash it up like that. You can use your hands. You can use gloves with your hands. This is my food, so I can do whatever the hell I want to do. Because some people be like, ew, that's nasty. Using your hand. And next we're going to do the put on a shifter. If you know it's on a shifter, you understand. Not last me shifter out there and I big the big. Uh -huh. And if I buy a new shifter. <laughs> But not that fun. But put it like that and then just keep, you know, washing out the, the, the sauce out. Clean the sauce out. Even the soup, we're going to separate that. We don't, we're going to do the same thing that we did for the zombie. We're going to um, drain all that pepper stuff, tomato stuff out. I just didn't show that part because I forgot. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Yeah, I forgot. And again, when you don't put it again in the fire and blend, um, boil it for a minute, and that will be it. The 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 unsu again, you are going to boil it or steam it just like how I do for my unsu unsu my other video that I just upload. This was so good. Slice some onions on it, and you just dish it out. That was it, guys. That was it. This was a good video. This was a this was bum this was bum degree that's come it was really really good thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to share like comments don't forget to share to your people and don't forget to turn your notification bell on until later bye bye